Hi guys, got another wedding cake for you today. Different shades of violet and a striking hand painted silhouette. I'm starting with a 9 inch cake already covered in lilac. For this I use my new Couture sugar paste which I am loving. It's a lot firmer than the Renshaws I'm used to but I get far less tearing. If you want to know how to get the sharp edges I'll leave the tutorial in the iCard above. Then grab yourself a circle cutter for your moon or sun, whichever mood you're going for and rock it back and forth on the side of the cake to cut through the sugar paste. Then with a scalpel, carefully remove the cutout. Dampen the ganache with water and a brush. With the same size cutter, cut out a circle of white and insert it into the space. Using the fleshy side of your hand, gently rub the circle to stretch it so it meets the sides. Then use your flexi smoother to buff it level and even. Next trace your silhouette of choice onto greaseproof paper and also mark it on the other side. Align your silhouette in the circle and pin it into position with acupuncture needles. Using a sharp pencil, carefully trace around your image to leave a transfer. Don't press too hard as the paper will crease and leave visible lines. Take a fine paintbrush and black paint. I like to use the rainbow dust one as I find the sugar flare dropper bottles bled and ran a little bit. This paint can be quite thick so tip it into a bowl and add a small amount of water. Follow the outline and then carefully fill them in. Next trace on some palm trees. I've only drawn the centre of the leaves so I know where to put them. Trim the paper smaller so it will fit around what you've already painted so it doesn't smudge it. Pin them into place and trace them on. Paint these on and just spike the leaves however you like. I'll leave links to everything I've used in the description box below. Lastly, draw in the sand. If you're a bit shaky when painting, then you'll absolutely rock this part. You want wiggly, textured sand. Now we can cover the board. The reason we painted it first is so that we don't get any on the covered board. We cover it afterwards so it keeps everything clean and neat. I'll leave the full tutorial on covering the board in the iCard. You've seen me do this before. To stack, I use the same amount of straws as the cake above it plus one. So the next cake is seven inch, so I'm using eight straws. Place one in the center and mark the height with an edible marker. Cut all the straws to the same height. Insert that one back into the center and then circle the rest around it. Add ganache on top of the straws. Any extra will just go down the holes. Add on your 7 inch cake covered in a slightly paler shade of lilac. Repeat the steps again for your 5 inch cake, so this will be 6 straws. The 5 inch cake is the lightest shade of lilac, just made with the white couture paste and a tiny ball of purple Renshaw's paste. With the same paint, add in a flock of birds emerging from the bottom tier and crossing the front to the top left. Lastly, finish it off with a few lilac roses. Luckily for you, last week's tutorial showed you just how to do that. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye guys.